Welcome to another installment of Coach Yawe's Tweets Expounded. I'm Robert Yawe, a financial literacy coach with Water Shift Africa. This morning, I guess it's morning when I, I, I do, I'm doing this recording, uh, my, my tweet is about the issue of scarcity or the perception of scarcity. And that in a world where things are deemed to be finite, people are judged or judges. People's successes are uh, judged by the items they accumulate. Uh, it becomes almost like, uh, I believe there's a bird that collects all kinds of metal things and the rest. I believe it should be an ostrich or something. And uh, the more it collects, the shinier the items, the, the, the better, the, the more in high esteem the, the bird is held amongst its peers and the community under which it, it lives. As human beings, we seem to have, achieved, to have actually gone in the same direction. We want to accumulate the fastest, the brightest, the newest. And this rush for accumulating, as if there is a shortage coming, has led to great wars, both actual physical wars of, with arms, the so-called Jones's War, the battle that you and I will never win because you and I are from different environments, are from different backgrounds, we have different resources, we have different ideals in life. So there is no standard for how much I must accumulate to be deemed to be have to have achieved. And this stretches to a lot of people. Uh, listen to the call by Warren Buffet and uh, Bill Gates and the others where they're telling billionaires, uh, really, at some point, you can have more than you need. There is a point at which you have a surplus. And why would you want to hoard the rest, the excess, even if you give away half your wealth at a certain point? It does not change your standard of living. It does not make you more insecure. And that's a fear that we have to overcome. The fear that there's a shortage, the fear that there's a scarcity. And look more and think more of a world of abundance, a world of plenty. You can only have a single meal a day. And once your stomach is full, that's it. Anything you take over and above that will just pass through your system. It will make you lethargic. It will make you fat. So let's appreciate the fact that there actually is no scarcity on this earth. And this, as I close, I'll leave you with this. It is said that the amount of diamonds available within De Beers silos, yes, I repeat, silos, if poured into the world market, would reduce the price of diamonds to less than that of coal? Have a day filled with abundance. I'm Robert Yawe, your financial literacy coach.